NASA knows a secret about you. The U.S. government has a secret about you. The elite have a secret about you. There's a reason that black cells are literally in out of space. Your royal DNA cellular bloodline is filled with the God particle, but it lies dormant within you. Beloved, my name is Vicky Dillard. I receive supernatural insight concerning your messenger DNA code from a supernatural messenger. If you're not supernatural, this isn't for you, but if it's for you, you don't want to miss my ancestral messenger DNA code activation part two on the most magical day of the year. Don't miss it. The link is below. Signs and wonders follow. Don't miss it. 12, 12, 21 is your day to ascend into your guard particle. Hello, my beautiful people. How you doing? My name is Olivia Nantongo. I'm a wellness and nutrition therapist. And today we're going to talk about a very, very important topic, junk food. Yes, junk food and the toxins. Now, toxic compounds used to make industrial tubing and rubber gloves are found in 80% of McDonald's, uh, Burger King and Pizza Hut food. These chemicals are so dangerous that they are linked to asthma, infertility and smaller testicles study finds this is outrageous researchers at george washington university tested menu items from mcdonald's burger king uh domino's and other fast food chains for phthalates the so-called forever chemicals used in hundreds of household products okay this after testing 64 top menu items from mcdonald's burger king pizza hut uh domino's taco bell and chipotle you know all the fast food uh joints that mm, some of you love <laughs> and guess what almost all tested positive for phthalates compounds that make plastic more liable so this is what you're putting into your body getting you sick and you're wondering why you are not feeling 100% all the time because of all the toxins. Uh, now, 80% contained a fatted link to a heightened risk for asthma, as I mentioned before, and 70% 70, 70 to one tied to reduce fertility. This stuff is dangerous to your health. Dangerous, okay? Now, items made with meat had higher levels of violets why french fries and and cheese pizza had the lowest but you wouldn't just drink a little bit of poison would you you wouldn't just drink a little poison because if you reason that way oh this has less uh chemicals than this and i can you know digest a little bit no no so it's not just the cholesterol calories and uh, carbohydrates in fast food that people have to worry about you're being fed with chemicals in your burgers, pizzas, or your burritos. They are all growing with the forever chemicals. These toxic forever chemicals, okay? They're all growing in there. Now, according to another to their analysis, they found phthalates, which are used to make plastic liable in over 80% of the samples. That's almost everything. I mean, what is, what's in the 20% left? So phthalates are also known as plasticizers and are used in hundreds of products uh, from vinyl flows, plastic packaging, uh, soaps, and shampoos. In addition, they have been linked to numerous health problems, okay? Numerous health problems, including cancer, liver damage, infertility as i mentioned before thyroid diseases asthma and even smaller testicles as well as learning disabilities behavioral issues and attention deficient orders disorders in children okay attention deficit uh, disorders in children people are exposed to phthalates by ingesting foods and beverages that have contained products um, containing phthalates or by breathing phthalate particles in the air directly. Now, according to the Centers of Disease Control, 
and prevention. This research was done by them. Exposure is a particular risk for kids because children grow around touching things and putting them in their mouth, okay? Parents, look out what kind of plastic you're using around your kids and what you're feeding them. Now, here are some ideas how you can start to transition from these toxic foods to something healthy. Plan ahead, it helps. There is no better way to handle cravings than planning your meals and snacks ahead of time. It's important and it works, okay? Uh, shop the perimeter. Eat healthy fats, okay? And of course, eat enough proteins. You have nuts that contain a lot of proteins. Fruits. Try fruits. You know? um, think about junk food differently. Honestly, think about junk food differently. Like, how often do they change the oil? Uh, the chemicals in that meat, how long has the meat been on, on in the fridge or freezer? Focus on adding healthier foods to uh, all your menus. Uh, and of course, <laughs> don't ever go shopping on a, hang on a hungry, hungry stomach. Have some fruits in your bag. Now, you can choose foods. Uh, choose good carbs, okay? Choose foods that include good carbs. And uh, pay attention to the protein package. How many times have you stopped and to read the package? Take a take some time and read what's in the food that you're gonna feed yourself. Uh, choose foods with healthy fats, as I said before, and limit foods in high saturated fat. And of course, avoid foods with the uh, trans fats. Choose a fiber-filled um, diet, rich in whole grains, vegetables, and fruits. All this will help. Eat more vegetables and fruits. <sighs> Guys, if you're trying to uh, get your lady pregnant, you know, you want to start your family, it's important to go on a detox. Stop eating certain foods. Feed yourself and your woman. Your woman should feed you too. Feed each other, rather, with healthier choices. Okay? And planning ahead of time really does help. It really does help. Now, when it comes to our children, now you heard what I said, learning uh, deficiency and concentration, having trouble concentrating. If you're feeding your child junk food out of laziness because it's so easier to just drive through and pick up something, that same child is giving you hell at home can concentrate at school. Uh, while at home, they're all jumpy and overstressed and it's what you're feeding them. It's what you're feeding them. You know, most likely, it's what you're feeding them. These toxins, these so-called forever chemicals, just listen to the name, forever chemicals. <laughs> that's, the that's the translation of it, forever chemicals, okay? They are made to live forever. Now, the question is, how long do they stay in your system? How long do they stay in your system? So no wonder many of us are getting sick and not knowing the reason to that. These chains are making billions of dollars while getting our society sick. I can promise you, every other um, store that I pass by, is some fried stuff, uh, some, you know, fried uh, junk food, it's like, there's a lack of uh, healthier alternatives. And it's up to us to change our societies and bring in healthier alternatives. That's the only way we're going to help each other. So thank you for watching. Until next time, my name is Olivia Nantongo. Don't forget to like, share, and of course, subscribe. See you. Stay away from junk food and live healthy, okay? <laughs> Colonization never ended in the white supremacist system.
And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now, those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on Amazon.com.